All right, that was great. Nice little break. Had a little fun with Tima there. All right. Well, we still have some daylight left. Let's finish this thing. Heading south on North Oak Traffic Way, which is also was once known as the Jefferson Highway. Oh, I kind of get the feeling that when you came into town, it didn't matter much to most people. Jefferson Highway, I think, was built as uh, an improved highway for traveling north to south, Winnipeg to New Orleans, or New Orleans to Winnipeg. advertised for tourists and I think back in that time when cars were a new thing tourism meant that you were touring and you had leisure time and in many cases since cars were new a lot of people in that era still relied on horses to travel so it's mainly kind of a Thing if you had money and leisure time but as cars became more and more important to everyday Americans good roads became more important and the good roads movement was actually stated it started in the late 1800s when I think many Americans went to visit Europe and saw that the governments in Europe built decent roads for people to travel on and made life easier. And in America, it was really hard to get around. sped through one of these little towns and dis discovered that they had a little police force too and they ended up with a little ticket and when they went to go pay it they didn't know what was going on they didn't know if it was for real <laughs> because they the city hall was a a suburban tract house Village of Oakview. And by little town, I mean little town, like just a couple of blocks. Broadway 
it's uh, called North Broadway up here in the Northland and it's also known as the Old Pike Road. And sometime or other I will go over there and read that plaque and take a picture of it, but not today. But it was a, I guess, an old toll road and I'm not sure if Jefferson Highway ever was on it or not. Not that I could see by any of the maps, but it, that does sort of confuse you. Here's another village of Oakwood. Maybe um, maybe it's the same as uh, the one. It's uh, the one time, well, still is a lot of really big houses in there with big, big lots. A lot of people like the suburban lifestyle tract housing, ranch houses, and wanted to have a little bit of property. tends to get a bit confusing around here <clears throat> because we pass back into Kansas City, Missouri and then we come down into North Kansas City, Missouri, a whole different town. our figures but most of the time we seem to watch our figures get bigger and bigger right doggies come on Tima you gonna sit up here Tima come on This is, uh, we're crossing over um, Vivian and uh, North Oak Traffic Way. Vivian is a um, kind of a major east-west thoroughfare through here and um, lots of, uh, especially to the east, the Antioch area, where the old Antioch Mall was, another mall that died and it's been torn down. Got a lot of 1950s architecture around there is a place called uh, you know a little diner what's it called I, I should oh Hayes and it, uh, they, they claim the claim to fame is their chili a lot of people around here like chili and barbecue but uh, it's an old 19 uh, it's an old Valentine diner it was um, built I believe and placed there they started it on that corner in 1955 the Hayes family and I believe the diner came the prefab Valentine diner came in 1960 and they're one of the few places that are open 24 hours and they're starting to make me want to go visit there mm. but if I go visit there then I really start watching my figure expand And 
to the west if you follow this far enough it takes you into a town of Northmore followed by Riverside Missouri and then eventually you can get to um, Parkville a really nice community great park still 70 degrees outside which is amazing for early November but that's about to shift suddenly and this church over here looks like a rocket ship to me I think it's part of a uh, googie architecture and when you come on the Jefferson Highway heading south you'll hit a really nice view of down Also not sure the routing may have actually diverged from here. It's a little side road. It was uh, you could kind of tell was at one time maybe kind of a big deal or very important between here and North Kansas City. So a lot of the roads around here have been re reshaped and redone, straightened, and everything. Now if you want to take this little side road, it, it just goes right off this way and kind of uh, hits south, hits southeast and then south and kind of comes in the back way nowadays in North Kansas City. That may have originally been the Jefferson Highway, I don't know. Uh, unfortunate they really didn't make very good maps way back when and uh, I'm not so sure if it really mattered when you came into town I think that uh, Jefferson Highway or any of these uh, auto trail routes would just kind of take you from town to town <clears throat> and then once you got into town it didn't matter if it always had another name anyway and so why would they you know so you just pick up the auto trail route on the other side of town. I suspect that's true. I'm not so sure if that is true. But I don't think that um, they would number uh, these streets or, you know, say Jefferson Highway through the middle of Kansas City. My suspicion is that it went, there was only one bridge at the time, and uh, it comes off of this road we're on. North Oak Traffic Way, and um, <clears throat> and then it headed east on uh, on Admiral. Came into the north, uh, into the old River Market, River Key area of Kansas City, Missouri, and then it headed east again we're talking about the Missouri side because I think it also headed south and then it picked up 19th Street and then Southwest Boulevard into Kansas but on the Missouri side it headed east I believe on Admiral and then it uh, made a right turn on the Paseo and then the Paseo to Linwood and then Linwood east out of town on the old Leeds traffic way. But as I am running out of daylight, that's a lot to do, so I won't be doing it in the night. Won't make for good pictures anyway. And some of those areas are not very nice anymore. They were really nice at, in the, back in the day. Another city this is North Kansas City and for people who are not from here North Kansas City is different from Kansas City are we confused yet yes it confuses even the locals great deal of time you're talking about uh, North
North Kansas City versus Kansas City North when trying to give people directions and sometimes in the border areas it gets really strange. And from here I have about what less than a mile to go or a mile and a half on my Clay County Jefferson Highway journey. So I might take advantage of the time, get a few pictures and see if these computer people are here and maybe talk to them about a computer issue that I'm having. And this area here right off of, um, what do they call this? I think this is, um, I'm not sure if they call it North Oak through here. This is, yeah, it's Burlington. North Kansas City has its own name for this street, which is Burlington. But then when you get back into Kansas City, it becomes Oak. Hence the north part of the Oak to differentiate when you're trying to give directions to people. But over here on this corner, as you came into North Kansas City off of Burlington, you were greeted with a big car dealership. Um, I believe it was Allen Chevrolet. And I'm not sure if they exist anywhere anymore, but this dealership was really, is this building here is really neat because this beautiful Art Deco building with the Allen letters on top. And it looks like it was at one time neon. I wish they would light it back up. Hopefully it won't take too long, just snap a few pictures and then head south, just quickly running out of daylight. And this is downtown North Kansas City, Missouri. And here is the Allen Chevrolet building I was talking about.